All right, Mr. Sotko here, and welcome back to H1Z1. And I left off right here, and uh, I was just running from a machete welding madman who was trying to kill me. And he said he was friendly, and then uh, just at like the same time he was talking to me, he started swinging his machete at me and was chasing me for a while, but gave up because it was pretty, pretty much totally pointless to chase me. And uh, I think I'd like to go to Rancho Takiro or whatever this place is called up here, and check that out, because I he also heard that it has a police station as well. He told me that it has one. And so I'd like to go check that out, because I didn't find anything good in this one. And I'm assuming typically there is, but I don't know which way north is. I need to find a compass or make, uh, make one. So let's check for a couple. Any ammo? I'd like to find some two, two, three. Cause I have an AR. Uh, but basically, I just have to run all the way to like H two, approximately H three rather. So if I run north long enough, I will get to that town. But I don't know which way it is. Uh, I, apparently, I have to run towards mountains, and these might be the ones I need to run to. Let me see. It doesn't seem to show any mountains uh, anywhere, any other direction. So, I suppose that's where I'm going to head. So, it might, uh, it might actually take me quite a while to get there. It might even take me a couple episodes to, to make it all the way there, because it is quite the journey. And there's some hills that way, too. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll see. Once it says, like, if it says H6, then I'm going the right way. Ooh. And a bunch of 223 rounds. So I found a pistol and 223 rounds. So I should be all set now for a little while. So I'm going to get rid of my flashlight, put my pistol there. And I'm going to equip that. But I don't have any... any uh, 45 bullets, which I, f I find surprising that I haven't found any of those yet. Because typically they're pretty fairly common. And looks like some food. I'll take that. Some spicy chili. And let's uh, run uh, out of the town here. I think this is north. Let's let's check this real quick. See if we can find any bullets or anything fun. Yep, there's some 308 rounds. Which I'll just hold on to for now. And I don't think there's anything in there. So let's, uh, let's head out. And I think this might be north. It's definitely not south because uh, of the. Okay, well, if those are there, and I'm running parallel to those, then I'm definitely running north because those are the those are the cabins over there. I could be running. Hmm, I'm not really sure. I might actually have to run that way. G7. Actually, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Yeah. So, back the way we came. Kind of bad at navigation right now. I actually, I don't know how to make a crude compass. You, you can make one, and then you can see the major four major directions that, that you're going in. But I, I assume you need, like, uh, scrap metal. I'm not sure what it is. I, I actually, actually have to look it up.
Don't chase me. So there's definitely a road going out in the direction that I need to go, and that might be the way there. But first we're going to check this gas station. See if there's anything fun in here. Yeah, a bit of cloth, I guess. I'll take that. Surprisingly hard to get through. Three eighty round. Nine mil. Yeah, two forty five. So two emergency bullets in my forty five pistol. And I am on my way. I believe this is the way. Uh, but we're going to need to pick up some berries along the way. And how many sticks do I have? Oh, uh, like none. So I need to pick up some of these too, just to make some extra arrows with. And I'll need to pick up, whenever I see a major formation of berries, I'll pick them up, or if they're just in my way like this. Because I'm at 40, 51. And I have chili for my energy, but I don't I don't have any water on me right now, I don't think. No. Oh, there's a lot of blackberries, but kind of out of my way. I don't really want to go anywhere else right now. And if I get to H6, then I am on the right path. Ooh, and there's a bear. I don't really want to mess with that. I might actually have to shoot it if it comes at me. Yeah, let's go over here on the other side. H6. Yep, I'm on my way. And I just need to make it to, like, H3. So it's pretty much just due north. And I don't even think I've ever really been in that town. Maybe. I don't remember it. Ooh, there's somebody's base. That kind of makes me a little nervous. Yeah, we'll grab some of these. And let's check out this uh, little outpost here. Some water. Ooh, cleverly hidden bullets. Just sitting on the ground there. Uh, for an AK, but I do not have an AK. So that doesn't help me. Okay, moving on. A couple bullets, that's cool. And a little bit of water. So the fastest way there would be just straight over the mountain here. That is if I can even run directly up it. There might be a path somewhere. Zombies. Quite a bit of happening going on over there. What is that? Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I can scale that. Maybe like over in that area? Oh, we're about to find out, I guess. But I'm going to check out this camper real quick, just to see if there's anything in it. Usually there's nothing really good in campers. Sometimes, though. And I'm getting kind of low on water 
and food. But I do I do have that chili, so I'm not really worried about my food, just my water. I have stagnant water, but I think it only gives you like 10% hydration because it's stagnant. Which doesn't really make sense because it's in a plastic bottle. And unless it was out in the sun, you know, it really wouldn't ever really go bad. I don't know the expiration date on a bottle of water, but it's got to be quite a while, right? I mean, it could get warm. That's about the worst that could happen. I know if you leave a bottle of water out in the sun, that's not good. Because it uh, breaks down the plastics and kind of cancerous. But I suppose that's the last thing you'd be worried about, really, in a zombie apocalypse. Okay, so we are moving ever closer up this mountain. And we will soon find out if it's uh, scalable or not. I'd imagine it is, but... Ah. And wolf. Uh, we're low on arrows. See, this is what you need arrows for. You need them for zombies, you need them for wolves. And as a last resort, I guess, to protect against players, but... For the most part, I wouldn't really recommend ever... ...using a bow on a player. I mean, unless they don't have anything to defend themselves with. But if they have a gun, you're, you're probably gonna lose. You could get a lucky hit and hit him in the head, but that's just it. Pretty much a lucky hit. I mean, unless you're just really, really good, then... By all means, do it, but for the most part, it's probably gonna get you killed. Somebody's base all the way up here. That's kind of cool. That's a good view. Okay, that's the dam over there. That's what I saw. That is an impressive view. You can see really far in this game. And it looks like that's the town, I think, all the way over there. So, not too far to go. And I'm getting real low on hydration. So I'll have to be picking up all the berries I see. And, and then I'm going to have to stand there for a good while and eat them. Which is unfortunate. Well, lots of opportunities for sticks. So let's go ahead and pick these up. You can never have enough sticks. You always just run out. Like, you just end up firing them all with arrows. And you're like, what happened to all my sticks? I thought I picked up like 20 of them. Haha, uh -huh. got ban hammered. Oh, I thought something was chasing me. It was a buck running down the hill there. Another berry. I like how you just get like one blackberry from the bush. Oh, a blackberry. Not a very efficient blackberry bush, is it? Okay. Alright, I'm in H4, so I'm very close now. And I bet it's just over on that hill. And I don't know if I should go over this way or not. It's kinda it's kinda tempting to go over there, but there is lighting over there, so somebody's got a fire going. So they may be actively there. Oh, and over here too. Shit. Yeah, my hydration's getting real low. Twenty percent. So let's get like as many berries as we can and try and stay down here in the valley because there might be people there like and you can hear people running from pretty a pretty good distance in this game and they'll hear me down here and maybe want to come and kill me good thing it's dark though so they can't see us as well 
another buck. I heard something again. Yeah, so I don't know if the fires, like, burn, like, infinitely or not. But it kind of gives me the impression that somebody's there. So I'm going to avoid that. See how many berries I got. I got 33, so that should uh, that should do quite a bit. So it's gonna take me ages to eat 33 berries. Ugh, one at a time. Some kind of car wreckage down here. Ah, I finally get to sleep now, and that's cool. Might be some ammo or something laying around here. No, I guess not. Let's eat some berries, because we are really low now. 17. So, here we go. I got a bunch of branches I need to get rid of. It's taking up room. They're like 50, 50 uh, weight a piece. So, definitely don't want them in your inventory. Let me drink my stagnant water. Screw it. Am I chilly? Well, that boosted me up a lot there. Well, who eats one blackberry at a time? Just shove them all in your mouth. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Might as well get uh, close to 100 so I don't have to do this again for a while. There we are. 90. Over 90. 94. 95. Oh, we went down one there. All right. 99%. That's good enough. Alright, so we're running by some bases here, and this uh this really isn't a cool angle for me. So let's run around this. That's like a sniper's paradise here. I'm in I-4 now, so I'm actually a little, a little to the, uh, southeast of it. But I should be able to see the town real soon, as soon as I get on out of this, uh, depression here. Hmm. Well, it should be... It should be over this way. I still don't see it yet. Okay, there it is. Well, it only took us about 20 minutes to get here, but we are here. Almost. I just got to cross the uh, probably dangerous river because there's so many bases. 
I kind of wish they'd reset these servers a little bit more often because the bases just get like overwhelming. They're just everywhere. There's an animal trap. But they really do. They just get overwhelming. They're everywhere. Everywhere. Even in the most obscure places. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been to this town. So, this will be a whole new experience for me. However, I'm almost at the end of the video time. So we're just going to check a couple houses real quick and see what we can find. And then we're going to, I'm going to call it there. And uh, my next video will be event ticket. Huh. Oh, I've never found one of those before. That's kind of cool. But, uh, but so for my next vi uh, video, I will explore the entire town of wherever I am, Rancho Taco. I'm sure it's not that, but uh, Rancho Takiro or whatever, whatever it's called. I don't know. And I'll explore the rest of it. But for now, we'll take a look in a couple houses here. If I can't find anything in interesting, which I just did. I just found an event ticket, but I don't know how useful those are. Oh, this is sort of a unique house setup. This isn't, uh... It's the first time I've been in this. Well, let's go ahead and whip out our rifle, just in case there's, uh... Anybody just standing around. Not really seeing anything. machete on a dryer but I'm going to end the video here and my next video will be me exploring the entire rest of the town and if you guys like the content go ahead and like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time